Hey there everybody, Chelsea here with Let's Talk. Today let's break down predictions and probability in the future. We have lots of ways to express how likely or probable something is. We've got adverbs, adjectives, verbs, nouns, modals, infinitives, and they're all used a little differently. So let's talk about some of these different forms. We can use an adverb to express probability. We're talking about the future, so we'll use will. And our adverb will go between the auxiliary, will, and our main verb. So if we take the sentence, It will happen. Will, auxiliary verb, happen, main verb. We'll put an adverb between these two to express how likely it is. So at the top, 100% likely, we've got words like definitely, no doubt, and certainly, these are all like 100% sure, it'll, it'll definitely happen. A little bit lower, we can say probably, possibly, or hopefully. With hopefully, we don't know if it will happen, but we want it to happen. So all these between the auxiliary verb and the main verb, we can also add not to make these negative right there. So it'll definitely not happen. It'll no doubt not happen. It'll probably not happen. Adjectives. If we say I, we're talking about I, so we'll use some adjectives to describe how confident I am. So I can say I am certain it'll happen or I'm sure it'll happen and these are both pretty confident. To make these ones negative, we'll put not after am. I am not certain it'll happen. I am not sure it'll happen. For some verb forms, um, if we have a sentence, uh, again, where I am the subject, So I blank, it'll happen. I expect it'll happen. I think it'll happen. Or I doubt it'll happen. Expect, that's what I expect. Not confident, but I expect that. Same with think, yeah, probably, I think it'll happen. Doubt means probably not. I doubt it'll happen, it probably won't happen. Now these ones are verbs, so to make them negative, we'll have to add our auxiliary verb and not. So I don't expect it'll happen, won't happen. I don't think it'll happen, it won't happen. I don't doubt it'll happen. Then we've got the reverse, we think it will happen. All right, let's talk about some other adjectives. Instead of I as the subject, we'll have it as the subject. It is blank that it'll happen. So we've got a whole bunch of different adjectives that can go in here. I can say inevitable. This is a really nice adjective. It means nothing can stop it from happening. It has to happen. It's inevitable that it'll happen. I can also say highly likely 
or just regular likely, highly likely, kind of likely. Now we go into the negative ideas. It's unlikely. It means it probably won't happen. Or with highly, highly unlikely. It's almost sure, almost positive it won't happen. And on the extremely negative end, it's inconceivable that it'll happen. Inconceivable means I can't even think of it. It's crazy. There's no way it'll happen. It's inconceivable. Okay, how about some nouns and noun phrases? Um, so, uh, with there is, we can put some different nouns here. I can say there's every chance. This is pretty positive. Yeah, it's gonna happen. There's every chance. There's a good chance. A little bit lower, but still probable. Um, I could say there's just a chance. Means, eh, we don't know, maybe. We could say there's only an outside chance it'll happen. Only an outside chance is like, it's really rare. It probably won't happen. Or all the way down at zero, there's no chance it'll happen. Zero percent. We have some modal verbs we can use for this same purpose. For the future, um, with our main verb happen, we can decide um, how confident we, uh, we are with this one. So may or might, May happen, might happen, we don't know. These two are about even. It could happen, a little bit less likely. It's possible, but I don't know. Um, or it could possibly happen. Kind of to add a little bit more emphasis on could. Or it could well happen. It's a possibility, we just don't know. It could well happen. For our last category, uh, we'll do some adjectives with infinitives. Our infinitive will be to happen, and we can put in some different adjectives in there. I can say it's bound to happen, means it's very likely. Uh, or it's sure to happen, also very likely. It's set to happen, it's destined to happen. These are all pretty confident that something will occur. All right, everybody, in the comments, leave a prediction for what's gonna happen next week. This is Chelsea telling everybody it's not nerdy being wordy. Let's talk again soon.